An anti-roll bar is a common suspension component. They are torsional springs that connect the inner and outer wheel to increase roll stiffness. Our project is to develop an active yaw control solution to optimize Formula SAE vehicle handling. With this, we hope to achieve increased cornering speeds and vehicle performance, resulting in lower lap times. Yaw is the rotation about the vertical axis of a vehicle and occurs during cornering. It is considered a really critical parameter in Formula SAE as it dictates the transient response or how quickly the car wants to turn in and leave the corner. Um, our in-house developed model is derived from experimental tire data and estimates how much work is being done by the front and rear tires. By modulating the stiffness of the rear anti-roll bar, we are able to show that this will in turn change the yaw rate of the vehicle. A conventional roll bar requires the designer to choose either a roll bar that gives stability or response, whereas our developed system is able to give a high speed response in the lower speed corners while maintaining a really high degree of stability in the higher speed corners. We've implemented a pneumatic solution for this project. There is a dual acting cylinder for each wheel, shown here and here. Linking the top of one cylinder to the bottom of the other allows for force transfer during roll while ensuring no effects on bump, as demonstrated in the flow diagram on the right. Using a pair of variable volume reservoirs, we can control the pressure in the system and thus the roll stiffness. Additionally, we have implemented pressure sensors for data analysis and pressure relief valves for safety. CAN bus shield gathers the speed information directly from the vehicle. The current speed is sent to the Arduino, which analyzes what the optimal volume of the system should be. The actuator is moved to the correct position to achieve the volume using the motor controller. The Arduino controls the system by using a PID, which calculates the error between the desired and actual position. This system was tuned heuristically, and the performance was validated by subjecting the system to standard test situations, such as a step input or sign sweep. To ensure code sustainability, it was broken up into smaller classes and stored in the cloud. As there is a short testing window for the vehicle once it's complete, we developed a bench testing setup to validate the air beat prior to installation. This setup allowed for validation of system pressures, actuator response time, and allowed for fine tuning of the control system and plant model. Through testing, we discovered that the volume of our system was larger than initially anticipated. This was ultimately remedied through adding a lightweight oil to reduce the compressible volume inside the system which brought the operation of our anti-roll device to within 5% of analytical values. After bench testing is complete, the next steps are to finalize manufacturing and to put the product on the vehicle. On-track testing is to be completed to obtain driver feedback and to validate the model against our lap time simulator. Overall, the project was a great success and ensures the team will be competitive at their FSAE California competition.